Everybody, in this video, I'm going to be playing Universe Sandbox, and I'm going to be taking the sun, and I'm going to be figuring out how big do we have to make the sun before it turns into a black hole. So come along for the ride. Okay, so we got our solar system right here, and here's our beautiful sun. And I think, I mean, the best way to make the sun a black hole, I mean, step by step, is just creating more and more mass. So how many times bigger does the sun really have to be before it becomes a black hole? Let's find out, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to math. Let's just times it by two. Let's just keep adding two and two and two and two. And we'll see where it goes. I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, so let's start by two. Okay. Double sun. Look, it kind of threw. Look at that. Already. You make the sun two times the mass and already. Look at this. The universe has gone crazy. I mean, the solar system has gone crazy. Look at this. Mars is actually okay, but look, all it's almost like all of these asteroids, the whole asteroid belt got pulled in. Mars is okay. You can see that it's kind of got a little bit of elliptical orbit on Jupiter and Saturn here, but I mean, for the most part, uh, did everything survive? I mean, Mercury, Venus, they still exist. Earth still exists. Then an ice ball? What? Oh, geez, what happened to Earth? Oh, man. It's like, I think we just made Earth Venus in one shot. Look at the average temperature all of a sudden. Now look at the clouds. I've, wow, okay. So, timesing the sun by two has disastrous effects, obviously. Holy lord, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be that crazy. Okay, let's do it by another two. This is obviously going to put... If, if two does that, another two is just going to be insane. So, let's try that. So here we go. The sun's going to be four times the mass of it currently. Okay, there we go. Mercury, Venus, Mars. Earth is... Oh yeah, everything's getting this elliptical orbit and they're getting faster and faster. Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, still relatively untouched. Oh, actually, no, look at Saturn. Saturn's really coming in. Saturn's coming in hot. Um, Nothing's died though, so nothing has been shot away and nothing has died. Let's just zoom out. Oh wait, never mind. A couple little satellites or whatever, but for the most part, we're okay. Okay. Take a look at the sun just just to see i mean that's sun um okay look at how close everything's getting let's let's check on the earth again just for fun yeah the earth is scorching now the earth is absolutely scorching okay let's times it by two again so this will be eight times the size now if we times it by two again let's see so the sun is now eight times the mass of its currently and everything is just going crazy here. All the planets going nuts. Including Jupiter. And Saturn. Look at how wide Saturn's uh, orbit has become. It's way out here now. Okay, okay. Let's do another. Still not a black hole. Still a... Does it tell us what kind of star this is or no? Just a regular looking old star, huh? Okay, times two again. So this will be 16 times the size. Multiply that again. Now things are getting really crazy. It kind of looks like a uh, a neutron, you know? You know, like those those diagrams of like a uh, what do you call it? Like those atomic diagrams? Crazy. Um, Mercury. I mean, what? Let's slow this. We got to slow down here. Here, let's pause it. Actually, Mercury must just be yeah. It's on fire. It's just glowing and on fire. How big? Is this orbit period okay so one so 56 days wait orbital period one day so a year on mercury is 1.6 days wow let's check out earth like what is that earth is obviously oh my god 1100 celsius uh 18 days is a year still about one day per spin but 18 days is now a year on earth so speed these guys back up okay let's uh let's go back in again let's times two that again so this will make it 32 times i mean if you grew up playing old games you know you always knew your your eight times your 16 times your 32 64 128 i mean it's just locked into your brain if you're like me okay times two 16 here we go earth is a glowing hot ball of insanity oh uh, here comes uranus it's coming in it's had enough Neptune 2 and Pluto. This is finally enough pull to pull those guys in. Um, Jupiter, Saturn. Let's see Jupiter for a real quick second here. 
Jupiter's yeah, not not ideal. Venus is Venus and Mercury still? I think Mer I think we lost Mercury. Mercury's gone. Venus is obviously like a glowing orb at this point. Mercury gone. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, so let's go 64 now. So 60. Oh wait, did I do it? I don't know if I did. Try again. Well, even if I did, let's do it again. Make it 64. I think I did do it. Okay. At 32 now. Whoa. So 64 times the mass of the sun. Let's see what we get. Wait, we're not. Oh wait. I. I instantly in what did I just do? I think I just instantly engulfed everything. I instantly engulfed everything. Uh, Uranus still alive. Neptune, Pluto, they're still doing fine. As far as everything else is gone. Okay, let's do that again. Yeah, I'm making it bigger, but I don't think it's like, let's see, being weird. Oh, never mind. Oh man, I went crazy. I didn't even notice how crazy I just went. I'm like crazy. We're at 512 times the mass of the sun. No wonder everything's gone. Look at that. Everything's literally gone. Okay. Whoa, that's too bright. Hey, let's keep going. It's not a black hole yet. Let's keep going. Um. Wow. Neptune just came in for a slingshot there. But this is going to make it, if I do this, it's going to make it a thousand times the size of the sun. Okay, look at everything just coming in. Look at all of these comets. Pluto shot out. Let's see, is Neptune going to survive? Let's pause. Let's take a look at Neptune. What's going to happen here? Whoa, Neptune just got shot. Neptune's on a very bizarre looking orbit, but still alive. Okay, let's do it again. Hit the sun. It's going to make it 2,000 times bigger now. 2,000 times. Same kind of result. There goes Pluto. Oh no, there goes everything. It just sucked up everything now in the solar system. There's nothing left. Except Sedna. But here comes Sedna. It's coming in. Okay, let's let's keep going though. It's not a black hole yet. But we know, so if the sun was about 2,000 times bigger, everything in the solar system would be literally gone. 4,000. 8,000. 16,000. 32,000. 64,000. 131,000. 262,000. 524,000 times the mass of the sun. Nothing. It's still a star. Okay, let's keep going. A million times. This is gonna, now it's gonna get crazy. It's gonna be 2 million, ready? Here we go. 2 million. 4 million. 8 million times the mass of the sun. 16 million. 33 million. 67 million. And... What did I just do? <laughs> what just happened in the sun? All we're left with is this tiny particle. That's like, what is this? What just happened? Did we just explode the sun and it never made a black hole? We were at, what were you? We? Okay, let's try that. We got to try that again. I think I got to slow time down. Let's try that again, but let's stop right on that number. Okay, here we go. Let's do that. Let's reopen that one up again. That was weird. That was super weird. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, oh, I think we're at like a million. We're at, let's just start with a million times the mass of the sun, okay? One. Uh, what do I think? Okay. Million. Okay, we're going to start there. Whoa. What did I do? Well, you're right. What is going on here? It's shedding. Uranus is shedding. Oh, it's super. Oh, I supernova the sun. Oh my lord! Look at that. So a million times the mass. Oh, wow! I just supernova. Oh man! Look at that. Okay. So now we know. Wow. Okay. We gotta open that up again. Let's do that again. Uh, let's let's take it like. F Would it be five hundred thousand times the mass? Let's try. 
So how do you make a black hole then? If adding more mass just supernovas the sun. What do we got here? We got 500,000, okay? Oh, man. That's supernova to two. We're just exploding our sun every time. Wow, okay. Let's try again. Third time's the charm. Or is this the fourth time? I don't know. Okay, let's go 250,000 times the mass of the sun. Try that. Did we get an error the first time I did this or what? 250,000. Oh, man, another one. Another supernova. Wow. So, black hole? No. Supernova, yes. Let's go like a hundred thousand times. See if that'll still supernova it. Oh, man. It did. Maybe we gotta go up incrementally. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, so let's do times 10. 10. Okay, so we're at a hundred times the mass of the sun. Times 10. 1,000 times. Here we go. 10,000. Here's 100,000 right here. Ready? Is this where we're going to explode? See about 100,000. Okay, I'm going to make it a million right here. Is this going to do it? A million. Whoa. A million. Okay, let's do times 10 again. So 10 million. You were doing something different here. I think if you go up incrementally it doesn't explode yeah well let's let's 10 million times 10 what is that a billion 100 million just keep going boom wow we're left with a single particle yet again And also, if you want to join my YouTube membership, I will be putting your name at the end of the credits. You can see, thank you very much to my first ever uh, YouTube member, Matt McEwen. Thank you very much. He'll be on the end credits. And uh, if you guys want to be on the end credits, all you have to do is join my YouTube membership. Or also, you can go into Patreon, join the Patreon. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll put you on the end credits. And then you'll be supporting me. So, anyways, guys, if you like this video, please leave a comment of uh, what you thought was going to happen. Or if, like, how... How wrong I am. Uh, anyways, until the next video, we'll see you guys later.